Today I have a recipe that will help you get a healthy serving of fish into your weekly meal plan. We're making crunchy baked catfish with bean sprout slaw and if you're a fan of fried fish I think you'll like this healthier alternative. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so let's start with the fish. Here I have one pound of catfish fillets. You could use another white fish like tilapia or cod but today we're using catfish. Now typically catfish is fried but I'm going to show you a healthier way to prepare it that still gives you that crunchy texture and taste. We're going to start with an egg wash which is just an egg and water mixed together. This is going to help the breading which we'll make in a minute stick to the fish. So I'm going to crack one egg and I crack it into the shallow bowl and then I whisk it with a fork. Then I will add one tablespoon of water and whisk it some more. Good, now I'll just pour this egg wash into a plate so I can dip my fillets in there. Yeah, let me just grab this. Make sure I keep my hands dry. Good. Now in another shallow bowl, I'm going to mix up the breading. I have one quarter cup of whole wheat panko, which is a Japanese style breadcrumb, but you can use regular unseasoned whole wheat breadcrumbs if you can't find panko. Next, I'll mix in uh, black pepper. This is a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And a one eighth teaspoon of salt. Mix that together. Whoop. Try not to spill it <laughs> like I did. <laughs> and we'll pour this on a plate as well. And I'll just spread this on the plate so we can get those panko breadcrumbs evenly on the catfish. You know, you could also use some red pepper flakes for a little spicy kick to the breading or add two tablespoons of toasted unsalted chopped peanuts or almonds for extra crunch and a nutty flavor. So I'm going to take each filet now and just dip it into the egg wash. I'll get it on both sides. And I'm also making sure to let the excess egg drip back into the bowl. Now it goes into the breadcrumb mixture. I just press into it firmly so that the crumbs stick, flip it over, and press again, making sure those crumbs are sticking. So now all I have to do is put the fish onto a sheet that's lined with foil and I repeat this process with the remaining fillets. So all my fish has been breaded and I'm going to put it in the oven. I'll let them bake for eight to 10 minutes and then turn them with a spatula and cook them for another five minutes. You'll be able to tell when they're done by seeing if a corner piece flakes off easily with a fork. We want the internal temperature to be at least 145 degrees Fahrenheit. While the fish is cooking, we can make our bean sprout slaw. We're starting with one pound of bean sprouts that I've rinsed and drained. You know, and in place of bean sprouts, you could use four cups of shredded green or red cabbage instead. Next, I have one red bell pepper. I've removed the stem and seeds and cut it into quarter inch strips lengthwise. You could use any color sweet pepper you'd like here. Next, I'll show you how I'm going to cut up this green onion. First, I'll remove the place where the dark green meets lighter green and the root. Next, I'll cut it into two inch pieces and then cut lengthwise about two times per piece. Maybe I can get one more here. There we go. So it's cut into these longer strips, thin strips. There we go. I'll add this to my salad and toss it all together. 
So we've got red and green added to those bean sprouts and it looks so vibrant. Nice. Okay, next off, let's go ahead and make the dressing for the slaw. So in this jar, I'm adding two tablespoons of rice vinegar, or you could use white wine vinegar instead. Then one tablespoon of either peanut oil, which I have here, or you can add canola or corn oil. Then we have one minced garlic clove, Uh, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper here. And one eighth a teaspoon of salt. So let's give it a good shake. Just a real nice light vinaigrette here and pour it over my veggies. Now I'm gonna go check on the fish. Our meal is ready. Here's our catfish. It really smells great. As you can see, I've garnished it with lemon wedges, which I cut from one whole lemon because a squeeze of lemon or lime juice over fish really helps to brighten up the flavors. And here's our bean sprout slaw, which is a great side dish for any type of fish. So not only is this recipe helping us get more fish into our diet, it's upping our vegetable intake too. This recipe provides two veggie servings per person. Not too shabby. I hope you get to enjoy this crunchy baked catfish with bean sprouts law soon. I'm going to enjoy it right now. Mm -hmm.